Welcome back to Grill This, Smoke That. I know that you have some people on your Christmas list that love to grill or smoke meats. And today I'm gonna to show you some of my favorite accessories. Just to clarify, the only way I profit from any of these is if you click my Amazon links and order the products you're seeing. But I just want you to know what's out there so that you can make some great gift decisions. I'm gonna start with some accessories that are not directly on my smoker first. And the first one I like are the Grill Master gloves or any kind of heat resistant glove. You can see these are nice and dark and worn in. Uh, I've had them for a while. These are great for lifting hot accessories whenever you're grilling or smoking on the Big Green Egg or any type of grill for that matter. The next one I wanna talk about is the meter. I love the meter product. It is a wireless meat thermometer. You take this little piece out and you stick it in the meat. It measures both the ambient temperature of the grill using this and the internal temperature of the grill using this. And it will allow you to sync it with your phone or any other uh, iOS device. So I can sync it with my iPad here and then I can go anywhere I want with my phone. And through the cloud service, I can monitor the temperatures of my meat and of the internal temperature of the grill. Anytime you're cooking meat, you need to cook to an internal temperature and not based off of time. So this is an instant read thermal probe that you stick in your meat and it instantly tells you the internal temperature. This happens to be a Thermopen MK4. It's kind of the Cadillac or the nicest uh, one out there by industry standards. But I'm gonna link the Javelin Duo 2 because that one cost about $44 as opposed to about $99 for this. So I'll make sure that link is available in my link tree and then click the Amazon store link. The next thing I wanna show you is a meat press or a meat weight. You can call them bacon presses if you want, but this is something that I use, it's Lodge brand. It has the coiled metal handle so it doesn't get as hot. And I can set this directly on things like a steak to make sure I get good surface contact to get those perfect grill lines, or if I'm using my cast iron platter to get a perfect sear by surface, to surface contact on the whole steak. I love having a Dutch oven dedicated to the grill or smoker. This way you don't mess up the nice one that you use inside. Uh, this is a cast iron option and I can throw it directly on any of the grates on any of my grills and I can cook chili or soups or heat up whatever I want to heat up. This is another cast iron pan. It's made by Lodge and you can use this for pizza. I use it for cooking smash burgers on my big green egg. Also use it for doing things like searing steaks or any other type of meat that I want to get a nice hot sear on. I heat this up in my grill and then put it on there and it gives a nice full surface crust. Let's get a little bit closer look at the egg and I'm gonna show you some of the other things that I highly recommend. The first thing you're gonna notice about my egg that's not a stock Big Green Egg accessory is this. This is called the Kick Ash Basket. This makes it very easy to set up for a new cook. You can see all the charcoal that was not used on the previous cook. I can simply shake the ash and set this off to the side. Please consider hitting that thumbs up button and subscribing to my channel. It really helps me out. I personally like to use a paintbrush and brush all of the ash from the sides of the fire bowl here down into the bottom where I have a second accessory from the Kick Ash Basket Company. This is called the Kick Ash Can and this catches all of the ash that falls down into the bottom of the egg and I'm able to take this and dump it in my fire safe bucket. So I keep a metal bucket underneath my egg table to dump that in. This goes right back in. Then the basket goes back in and I'm ready to cook. If I needed to add more charcoal, I could add it right on top. The next accessory is really a safety thing more so than anything else. This is how I clean my grill grate. These are coiled metal wires instead of having bristles. The bristles have been known to come off of the brush and get lodged in people's intestines and cause major issues. So this ensures that metal doesn't come off of here and get lodged into the uh, people's throat, mouth, or in their intestines. And it works really well to clean off your grill grate. So I'll definitely make sure I link this in my Amazon store in that Linktree link. And the last thing I wanna show you today is this grate lifter. I love this uh, for multiple reasons. It is nice to be able to just lift your grate out uh, very easily. It's more secure than the little plier style grate lifter that they have. The other thing I like is that sometimes your big green egg does get hot spots. People will tell you it cooks super evenly. It's not 100% true. So if I have a hot spot in this area here, instead of taking all my food from there and moving it to the front and all my food from the front and moving it to the back, I can clear a little space in the middle and I can lift up this grate and I can spin the whole thing around 
without having to rearrange any of the food. And it's a much faster way to get that even cooking uh, temperature on all of your food at one time. I hope this style video was helpful to you. If you have someone in your life that cooks on a griddle, such as a Blackstone or a Camp Chef griddle, instead, I have a video for that as well showing all of my favorite accessories. So you can click the link shown on the screen right now and it'll take you right to that video. I hope you guys have a great day.